Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to part two of CloudWatch alarms for maintenance window. So in this part two, what we are going to do is we are going to re-enable the alarms that we have disabled in our last video. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's jump to our editor new file. <clears throat> let's create a new Python file and let's name the Python file as disable is disable. <coughs> Oh sorry, disabled we have already done. Enable underscore cloud watch underscore alarms. Okay. Let's it. Enter new file is created. What we want to do is let's go back to our photo three page. Over here, let's copy import photo three. So import photo three I have copied over here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to check the file that we have already created which file I am talking about where we have stored the name. So this is the my file in which we have stored the alarm names that we have disabled. So now we have to re-enable these two alarms. So what I will do is first I will invoke this client. After invoking this client <coughs> let's go ahead and open that file. file is equal to open and I will give the path d colon slash my file dot txt okay and we will open this file in read mode r so as we have opened this file now let's go ahead and so <clears throat> the file is open now we have to read that file so to read that file what I will do is I will create a variable name enable underscore LARMS alarms is equal to file dot read read lines okay now so now uh, what this this is going to do is file dot read lines is going to read the file and it is going to save it in alarm alarm enable alarms let's go ahead and print enable alarms and you will see yourself what is being done so see over here enable alarms in this enable alarm is a list in this list there are two names which are present so now you can see it is copying the name along with the slash end that is, that is the next line character so now we will have to we have to remove the next line character so for this i will add a new line i will go ahead over here again we will use the same one enable alarms so in enable alarm i will use a for loop <clears throat> so in this for loop what we are going to do is line dot r strip what is R strip? Let me show you first. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this R strip. So, what is str R strip? So, a return a copy of a string with trailing characters so the trailing characters which is the end of the file the white spaces are been removed the care argument is string specifying the set of characters to be removed okay so this is what r strip is for so we are going to use this so this is official uh, python documentation on python.org so we are going to use this uh, built-in functions uh, in our code so if i go over here line dot strip so after doing line dot strip I will use the for loop over here for line. So for line in unable alarms that we have created over here. So let's do one thing. I will remove this unable alarm. Okay, I will keep this as unable alarms. Now we are using this over here. So we will be saving this into unable alarms. So I have removed the S from here and added over here. So this for loop is going to uh, traverse 
into the unable alarm list and it is going to pick the element one by one it, it after picking the element one by one first it will, it will pick this element and then it will remove the white space and the next line character then it will pick this one then it will remove the white space and the next line character <coughs> so what i will do now i will show you by printing this again okay one mistake over here okay and strip okay has no object okay no object so line dot strip print okay what is the problem i have missed the strip RIP. Okay, that was the only issue. So now you can see the from the last line slash n has been removed and it is saved now in enable alarms. Okay, so now everything is done. The only thing we have to do is we have to enable the alarm list that we have saved over here. So for that, there is a very simple function. Go to the documentation. Documentation. There is enable alarm actions click on enable alarm actions over here you can see a response i will copy this okay <clears throat> response is equal to client dot enable underscore alarm actions so over here as you can see okay <clears throat> So I will close this. Now, as you see the documentation, we have to give this argument. So this is the argument name that is alarm names. And along with the argument, we will have to provide a list. And the list name is enable alarms. So that's it. So this is how we are going to enable the alarms. But before enabling the alarm, let me do one more thing. Let me first show you. So this is our previous code, okay? So in this code, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to comment out this file. Shift. So let me copy this. Let's comment out this. This is the one. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm trying to show you over here is, so in this, we have written a if else statement. So what if else statement does, it is only going to print the uh, alarms which are in unable state. Okay. Now, first I will run it in front of you. It is going to go in else loop because the, the alarms that we're trying to enable right now is disabled and I am having only two alarms on my account. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let me once again cross check. Okay. Okay. Disable is done. Okay. So now. Let me go ahead. So let's do one thing. Run disabled alarms. Okay. So see. So as the alarms are disabled, it is showing it over here. Its status. Okay. Just give me one minute. Okay. So if I'm going to run this now, as we have, as I have only two alarms, which are there in my account, which are in disabled state, it is not going to go into if status. It is going to go in else status. So let me go ahead and run this. So you can see it is going in no enabled alarms, no enabled alarms that is in disabled state because my alarms are in already disabled status. Okay. So now let's go ahead and run the alarms over here once again. So coming back to our enabled CloudWatch alarms code. So over here, uh, we will revise once again before I run this program. So now you can see that both of the uh, alarms that I have, it is in disabled state. So now what this program is going to do is we are going to enable it file file open. This is going to open my, my file.txt file. 
so let me show you okay so this line will open guest uh, my dot uh, file dot txt file and this file is having uh, two alarm names okay so we are creating a variable enable alarm and we are performing file dot read lines so this is going to read line one by one but while reading the lines this function also reads the next line because as you can see there is an enter over here so that comes to as slash n so it takes slash n also so we have to remove that slash n any and all the white spaces that is the reason we are using a for loop over here in which we are using l a line dot r strip okay now uh, i will go ahead and i will perform not perform i will enable uh, run this script okay so there is one error into the script let me check right away what is the error okay so before running this code once again let me check whether the white spaces has been removed i will just run this program once without this response okay so this is over here and uh, over here let's keep this as hash 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 so as we know that the two alarms are in disable state see no allowable alarms with go now i am going to remove this okay and i am going to run the program okay so let's run this program okay so the program is i have ran the program and i guess the program is successful now to cross verify what i'm going to do is over here is i am going to just hash this also enabled enabled alarms equal to okay so i will run this program again in front of you this is disable one okay so guys as you can see the two programs are enabled right now once again so this concludes our session so what we have done is we have used a short code in which we are first reading the file then we are removing the white spaces uh, of that uh, file that has been read and which has been saved into the list and in the list for each element we have removed the white spaces so after removing the white spaces what we have done is we have used enable alarm actions in enable alarm actions the list that we have created over here we have directly passed that that list because that is what is the requirement of the python code so thank you for joining the session guys i hope this example would help you in the real time scenario where you have to disable the alarms uh, before uh, doing going to a maintenance video uh, maintenance window that is all the uh, all the cloud watch alarms which are in enable state and once the maintenance window is finished you can just re enable the same cloud watch alarms which we had disabled before our maintenance window so thank you for joining the session guys have a great day goodbye